and I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. Today we are talking about Lake Mead. We're strictly talking about Lake Mead today. Nothing else. I have had plenty going on today. Family stuff going, Christmas and whatnot. Anyway, I thought I'd get on here and talk about it. We have finally caught up to 2021 and that's a real good sign and we're going to go right out to windy.com. There is more precipitation possibly coming within the next 10 days. So that's positive vibes. As we roll out to windy.com, we're going to be looking up here in Colorado because that's where it counts. This is where all the rain comes. But good news for Las Vegas in general as we scoot in here, you can see that they're going to get a little bit of precipitation, almost one inch of precipitation and up here north. We scoot over here by Kanab and you can see 0.27, but in between St. George and Kanab, you got 1.6 possibly coming. Over here by Lake Powell, you got 1.23. And check this out over here by Lake Navajo possibly. You're talking a good swath of precipitation, 1.9 to tell you right up here you're talking 1.53 a little bit less up here by Grand Junction it's pretty much a desert 0.31 we come up here by Vail in Aspen Aspen you're talking about 0.59 and Vail 0.47 so you're getting a decent swath of precipitation we come down here to my friends at Lake Havasu I hope all is well 1.46 so that's a lot of precipitation for you coming up and you can see California it's going to get pounded now this is this is a European it's pretty aggressive especially over here but the GFS is not showing so much you can see that the precipitations more down here in Arizona still get a little bit of coming over here 0.54 Denver uh, 0.1 I know that's on the other side of the divide but I'm just saying in general this is pretty dry according to this we'll we'll, we'll see which one wins out it's still a long way out look at this over here though they're calling for quite a bit of precipitation almost five inches of precipitation there in California we'll be watching that that will be back very shortly, probably tomorrow or so, talking about the lakes over here. But I want to get back to Vegas and back to Lake Mead and... Yes, you are talking about 0 0.34, Henderson over here, 0 0.33. All this water goes to Lake Mead. So we'll be waiting to see what ultimately happens. And that is it for that. We're going to go out to Tropical Tidbit next and see what's going on. As we go out to Tropical Tidbits, you can see this massive low pressure system here kicking through the United States, the south part. And luckily, this is all warmer weather instead of cold, because if this was cold, this would be one heck of a nor'easter we haven't seen very many of those in the last few years as i talked about yesterday 990 isobars and you can see this thing really grows in intensity as we go through the days watch this it starts to get windier and windier and it start this high pressure starts to slowly kick it away as we scoot in you can see it starts to scoot down and this starts to kick up but man you have this massive high pressure in the between the two difference it's it's pretty intense you have isobars bars really tight packed all the way up here and the wind will get crazier and crazier as we go in and you can see there's just not a whole lot the winds probably barely blown but you, you can see the jet streams right through here got a dip in it you see these red lines here this is the jet stream pushing it and 946 is a real powerful jet stream 952 is a powerful jet stream the nine the lower the number the, the faster the jet stream moves so 928 you can see it really kicking it up at we're at 979 isobars it's pretty intense system very very intense system and very very low pressure not a whole lot of cold with this but there it starts to kick in a lot of cold and you can see this as it kicks in snow goes all the way down to west virginia and whatnot pennsylvania new york ohio you're starting to get some snow and a lot of warm air is driven all the way up to canada look all the way up here there's some snow on the backside, but most of that's pretty warm and for the middle of december that's just in crazy we're looking at december 19th we're starting to get closer to christmas at this point you can see the system kicking in over here a nice high pressure the winds will start to kick out of the south here in missouri and whatnot you got 1030 isobars there not a whole lot of precipitation there you have the precipitation here, but the west is pretty dry from the west all the way to basically Ohio. So that's a long way. And then you have a low pressure starting to kick here at 106. We'll see if anything becomes of that. It disappears. And then we scoot on to the 20th. The 20th, you can see this low pressure 102 kicking through here through 104 here in 
California. There's really nothing going on out here. This low pressure gets really intense here. You can see these isobars starting to pop up here, and you're going to have a massive storm in the Atlantic, but that will be no threat to the East Coast. You have a storm out here in California kicking up, and it kind of dissipates. It kind of turns into a dirty low. Not a whole lot going on there. You can see this is where the low was, but it's not really well developed at this point in time. At least they're saying through the 21st we continue to scoot and it kicks on and you can see that it not a whole lot you have a storm way up here by southern Canada northern the northwest up that way and 996 ISO bars and there's a system kicking through here on Friday December 22nd something to be watching that's a lot of people will be traveling through that time not no snow though it's pretty warm as the winds will be coming out of the south here's your high pressure over here low pressure over here in between the winds blow up from the south to the north and it continues to scoot that way a little bit of a low pressure down this way something to be watching and it kicks up a little bit not a whole lot through here you can see nothing really going on a little bit of storm here on christmas through the midwest a little bit of rain the snow's way up here it's not going to be a white Christmas for very many folks this year. It's just not. If you live in high country or the north, that would be your best bet. But it's going to be pretty dry. Maybe a little bit of snow on the backside of this low pressure through here on Christmas. But chances are probably not a whole lot. And it scoots on here. Turns into another nasty storm. 995 isobars. But look at this. This is on December 27th. You can see a nice storm kicking in northern California. And it, it really starts to turn into... To a big storm on December 28th and it, it starts to make it over into Nevada which is a f first for a while it kicks over into New Mexico over into Colorado kind of fizzles out 101 we keep on scooting not a whole lot the storm kicks up through Kansas City Iowa and then you have nothing for a minute a little storm here in the Midwest New Year's Eve some rain maybe some snow we'll have to watch that that's a long way out and we keep on scooting and then there's another system kick Kicking in to California. It's a lot different than last year. Last year we were much wetter by this time. Look at this massive snowstorm right here in the Midwest. Powerful snow snowstorm on the first. Something to watch. We'll see if it comes to pass. It starts to fizzle out a little bit and another storm kicks into California. So not a whole lot in the Colorado. We'll continue to watch it and off to Lake Mead next. There's a huge deal that just came across the board this week. It is talking about they're going to save 3.3 million acres of water for Lake Mead. So that's fantastic news because they have been arguing and bickering for a long time but because of the Biden administration kicking in, whether you love them or hate them, that's not here nor there or for a debate. The deal here is, is that they decided that they're going to save 3.3 million acres extra. So any precipitation that we get for the Colorado going forward is going to be a good deal because it's going to save tons of water. Now, this came at a price. This new investment actually cost you and I and all the taxpayers $295 million. So did we really save? We saved water, but did at a, at a price. I mean, California wasn't willing to do it unless they got money money and it's just ridiculous it's like why is the government kicking in nearly 300 million dollars for these conservative efforts who's getting this money and where is it coming from and who's paying for it but that's what happened here so there you go we're going to see an increase of 300 million acre feet which will probably be about 20 or 30 feet possibly i'm guessing so and it will just continue to rise but who knows time will tell anyway to lake mead let's see what the water level is currently at as we roll out to lake mead you can see that the current water level is 1066.69 feet and that was sunday December 17, 2023 at 5 p.m. The levels 152.91 feet below full pool of 1,219.60 feet. Changes since yesterday in the last 24 hours. The lake is up 0 0.01 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last 7 days, the lake is up 0 0.66 feet. We go over the last 14 days. 
The lake is up 1.46 feet over the last 14. We go over the last 30 days, the lake is up 1.93 feet. And as of last year, we are up 22.79 feet. So that is a fantastic increase. We will take it. Your inflows are currently 11,653. Your outflows are currently 6,040. As we just said, the full pool level is 1,000. 219.60 feet and in 2021 the level was 1065.51 feet last year we were at a decimal 1043.81 feet and of course we have now surpassed 2021 we're at 1066.69 feet inactive pools 950 feet dead pools 895 your record low came last year in july 1040.58 feet and then the level was 1000 225.85 feet well above the 1219.60 feet so you can see that's when they actually used the spillway for the first time ever and the last time and probably the last time in many many years to come from now hopefully one day they may use it again but who knows time will tell now we go out to percentage of capacity and your percentage of capacity is currently 34.43 percent thank you guys for stopping by i hope this was informational for you and we will see you on the next one god bless